In this video, I'm gonna show you how to embed Calendly onto a website, whether it's a landing page builder like Unbounce or a WordPress website. So by default, Calendly provides you with a calendar booking website or web page that looks like this, which looks quite nice, but sometimes it makes sense to build a landing page of your own that's more on brand with your business. So what you can actually do is take this calendar booking feature and embed it directly on your own website. So inside Calendly, we're gonna find our event. We're gonna click onto this gear and say, add to website. And we have a few different options for embedding this. We can embed it directly onto the page itself. We can use a pop-up widget, and then we can use it as a pop-up text or an in-link hyperlink. I'm gonna first show you how to embed it directly. We're gonna click continue. I'm showing this in a free account. Um, if you have a premium account or a pro account, which costs 15 US dollars per month, you can customize some of the colors and stuff like that to make it look a bit nicer. But if you're just using the free account, then you can't really change much of that. So what we're gonna do is simply copy this code. We're gonna go into our Unbounce landing page builder, and I'm also gonna show you how to embed this onto a WordPress website. So from here, we're just gonna drag a custom HTML element onto our page, and we're gonna paste this in here, and we're gonna click save code. Now if I save this and publish this page, and then take a look at what it looks like, we can see it looks a little bit strange. It's kind of uh, narrow, and we have a lot of scrolling to do. So this is not the best user experience. So there is a way to change the dimensions of this so it looks a bit nicer. So if we go back into our page and what we can do is at least an unbounce, drag this to a different dimension. And then on the right hand side, when we have this element selected, we can see the size of this element. So it's 384 pixels wide by 317 tall. So if I double click and look at the code that we entered in there, this is the default code. So we're gonna paste this we're going to change these to match the height and width of that element that we just edited. We're going to save this, publish it, and see what that looks like. So we can see now that this Calendly element has expanded to those custom dimensions that we set. And so when you book an appointment through this embedded feature, what's going to happen is people are going to be redirected to whichever thank you page you have configured in your Calendly event settings. So if we go back real quick into our settings and we say edit, go down to confirmation page. At the moment, it's just gonna display the default Calendly confirmation page. So when somebody completes this form, it's gonna redirect them to that Calendly confirmation page. Now, if you have a premium account, which is the $10 per month Calendly account, you can actually redire redirect this traffic to an external website. So you could go into Unbounce, create a new page, a custom thank you page, and then redirect people to that page when they opt into your, this Calendly event. So that's gonna create a bit nicer of a user experience. Instead of going from this on-brand page to a Calendly page, they'll go to another page that looks a lot nicer. Now, if we wanted to embed this onto a WordPress site, it works the exact same way. In your WordPress uh, dashboard, you're gonna click add new page or insert this into a blog post or wherever you want. I've already created a page here called Calendly. Now this might look a little bit different depending on the WordPress theme that you're using, but what we want to do is create an HTML element. So if I click into this, right now we're just creating a text box element. So I'm going to click onto this plus button and search for custom HTML. And I'm just going to paste in that embed code. I'm going to click update. All right, and we can see just like it did with Unbounce, it embedded that Calendly feature right onto our WordPress landing page. And again, this is gonna work the same way. So when somebody books an appointment, it's gonna redirect them to whatever thank you page that you've configured. If you go back into Calendly and we go back, we're gonna try setting up these two other custom events. So the first one is a pop-up widget. So I'm gonna go into here, I'm gonna copy the code, and we're gonna take a look at what this looks like. So we're gonna delete this text. Again, we wanna make sure that we're in an HTML element, paste that code, and click update. Now on the landing page, you can see we have this little element, this floating element in the bottom right corner. Now you can't really tell because I don't have a lot of content on this page, but as I scroll up and down, you'll see that this stays fixed in place regardless of what point we are on the page. So this is a nice little feature to include um, as kind of like a little secondary call to action. What I'll often do is include this on a thank you page or maybe even on an opt-in page for a lead magnet and just have this visible so that in case somebody wants to take an extra action and book an appointment, then they can do that. 
One possible risk with this just being in the bottom right corner like this is that it doesn't draw attention like it would if it were a opt-in form or like an above the fold element. So if your primary call to action on this landing page is to get people to opt into your Calendly, I would encourage that you use the embed element or perhaps the inline hyperlink text element. Last thing we're gonna try is the pop-up text. So we're gonna copy that code. We're gonna delete this. And this is important. You wanna make sure that this is an HTML element. Again, if, it's, if you just paste this into a default text element, it's gonna show the hyperlinked text, but when you click on that hyperlink, it's not gonna pop up the Calendly event. So you need to make sure that you're writing in an HTML element. We're gonna paste this in here. And this is where we can change the, whatever we want that text to read. If we go back to Calendly, uh, we can change that text here as well. So when I publish this, now you can see we just have this string of text with a hyperlink. When we click onto it, it's gonna pop open this Calendly event. Just like this. So it's a full screen uh, event, which they can exit out of. So that's kind of a nice feature as well. If you don't want it to be displayed as prominently, maybe it's not your primary call to action. Uh, it can be a nice little feature to include as a hyperlinked text. Thank you for watching. Drop a like below if you found this helpful and consider subscribing if you want more marketing tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.